Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is May 17th, 2021. It is also Monday. So, I was thinking about this whole situation with the gas pipeline. And correct me if I'm wrong on this, but from what I've heard, and I don't know if it's a, if it's true or not, but I heard that uh, the company paid a five million dollar ransom to be able to get their stuff back, which tells me that it was very highly sophisticated and they weren't able to figure it out. Okay, and uh, so you had uh, that situation, and they paid the ransom which is not a good thing at all. It's not a good thing at all. Uh, so, my question to you guys is the next thing that's going to happen, and I just want to show you this while I'm walking by here. We got the great plants are starting to, uh, we cut them back this year, okay? And they're really starting to bloom here. They're really starting to, to bud and get the flowers and stuff, so that'll be very cool. So anyway, um, and I was going to walk up front here to show you uh, how it looks now. Uh, all those logs that were that I had cut, they're all, the only ones that are left is here. So my question to you guys is, is a grid down situation coming next? Uh, the possibility of that is extremely frightening, to be honest with you. Uh, for many, many reasons, and I'm just going to name a few of them off. Uh, we are very, very reliant on the grid. Very reliant. So I just wanted to show you all through here where we had, uh, as this was all kinds of brush, all through this entire area. And uh, they, you can see it's still actually smoking uh, more than a day later from when we did. But that's all that's left of that. But we cleaned up a lot of what was in here, and we cleaned up, uh, this one actually burnt down better than the other one. Well, the other one did great, too. I mean, it's just those two big logs I threw on there the next day, and so, you know, they didn't really get a chance to burn down. But all this that was in here uh, is well, we got all this cleared out of here, too. So, uh, really, really happy. Uh, with getting that done. I'll tell you what, it was it was a lot of work. You may not think so, but that was a lot of work. And then continuing to feed the fire in and feed it in and, you know, to have that left, uh, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So, anyway, um, so the reliance on the grid uh, that we have is unbelievable. And the fact that... Uh, you know, a lot of people don't even carry cash. Uh, they have their debit card, and that's what they use. They use that to pay for everything. Uh, I have seen people walk into the grocery store and pay for a pop or a coffee uh, with their debit card instead of using cash. Now, they don't even have that kind of cash on them, um, which is absolutely amazing to me. I think it's really important to have a certain amount of cash back just for the unforeseen because you just never know. Uh, so it's really, really scary, really, really scary situation. Uh, so also, you know, so that that would be one of the reasons. Uh, the reliance on the grid that we have that, uh, you know, the younger generation would be completely lost um, if they were unable to get online, if their phones didn't work, and all those type of things. They wouldn't know what to do. They've never, ever been without that. Uh, they've had that their entire lives. I'm going to kick this a second just to see what... Uh, you can feel the heat in there. There we go. Um, they have had that their whole lives. They've never been without it. So they wouldn't know what to do uh, without that situation, without having that power grid and uh, you know access to their phones and everything else. You think about uh, the fact that like this generation... I'm just going to try to kick the hell up in there. This generation is, uh, they don't know how to read maps because you have MapQuest. You just pull it, punch it into your phone, and it'll take you wherever you need to go. Uh, you know, I, uh, like, so for our trip, Heather and I are doing, um, one of the things that I picked up 
was a road atlas because I thought it was important to have. Um, I definitely want to show her how to utilize that and to use it and stuff like that as well. But if we have a grid down situation, folks, and if they can, let's put it like this, if they can shut down a pipeline, they can shut the grid down. All right, and if they shut the grid down, uh, it would be a very, very short time before all HE double hockey sticks would break out, okay? And uh, would not be a pleasant situation because people are not prepared for that. They are not ready. And that's probably another thing that is more frightening than anything else, the number of people that are not prepared and that are not ready. Uh, it's just, uh, it is amazing. <laughs> so I got all the chickens. They heard me down here, so they all came to this end of the run. And plus the dogs. That is so funny. They are a freaking trip. I know I got to get them a little, got to get them a treat. I got to go check for eggs too. But, uh, yeah, so that's, um, what? You are fine. You are fine. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's something to think about. Um, and with all these attacks and all these, uh, you know, cyber attacks happening and everything that they've been doing, it's a matter of time, in my opinion, okay? Um, I believe that it is a matter of time. And if you want to destroy America, you go after the power grid. It's the easiest way to do it. Uh, and uh, there would be, it would be bad. It would be really, really bad, really, really fast. So um, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on it. I want to hear your feedback. What do you think? Um, are we that vulnerable? Which I truly believe that we are. Um, there's definitely, i got to show you, there's Mr. Max coming. Max, what's happening? What are you doing? What do you think? <laughs> He's like, you're out here, I'm coming. All right. Yeah? He's a nut. But, um, anyway, uh, you know, it is, uh, definitely something to contemplate, something to be better be preparing for. Uh, I think that that's really important that you're preparing for those inevitabilities. Because, again, uh, in my opinion, it's just a matter of time. You know, if uh, they're continuing to do these cyber attacks all the time, which they are, and let's say it is, you know, a foreign power doing it. Again, uh, I don't think you will ever see an invasion of the United States uh, just because there's way too many pre people that are armed. Way too many people that are armed. But... If there is a way to destroy ourselves or destroy us, you let the grid go down and we'll kill each other. And then they can come in and mop up and sweep up the pieces afterwards. Not a good situation. Not a good situation at all. And any extended grid down situation would really truly be horrific. It really would be. So, um,. Something that's always on my mind, something that I'm always thinking about, that's why, one of the reasons, uh, you know, like people have asked me if I was grid tied, and I said, no way, I would never be grid tied, uh, for several reasons. One, they'll never own me if I'm not grid tied, and two, if there is an attack on the grid and the grid goes down, what the heck was that? Um, and the grid goes down, what was she doing? I don't even know what she was up to. Um, like I said, and then the grid goes down, we would still have power, you know, if it was a cyber attack. So that's another advantage of having your own independent system. So, anyway, um, I do want to hear your feedback on this. I want to hear what you guys have to say. And, uh, it's, uh, very interesting. I don't know, just something I've been thinking about. And, uh, the vulnerability of our whole system is unbelievably frightening. It really, truly is. So, uh, like I said, I definitely want to hear, <laughs> there we go, I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, so anyway, I am going to jump off here for now. It's just going to be the one video today. I'm not going to do a second video. Uh, just been pretty much a, a low-key day. It's beautiful out, though, again today. Weather's been very, very nice. So that's, uh, I got to get out here probably tomorrow. I'm going to cut grass. But today I needed another day, I'll be honest with you. Uh, pushed a little bit too hard, 
And so I was like, well, I'm just going to take today and just have a chill day. And so that was what it ended up being. And there's Mr. Buddy. What's up there, champ? Huh? Oh, we got all three. We got Molly, Max, and Buddy. She's like, I'll come over for some petting. Yeah, she said, I'll come over for some petting. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, was your little motor running? She's so tiny. I still cannot believe she ended up having a litter of five kittens there when we first, when she first basically adopted us, I should say. Because she just showed up. So, anyway, guys, remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. It's really important. Also remember, um, I completely went off what I normally do. So I'm going to start over because, I, I, like I said, I'm just tired. I'm tired today. I'll start over again. All right. Remember we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Uh, you know, we are one race called the human race, okay? Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important if we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that is going to stop you from reaching those goals is you. That's it. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all tomorrow. I hope everybody has a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. And these two.